Okay, it's the next day now. I went and got some grease. Uh, probably should use uh, like a bearing grease on there, uh, but uh, I'm gonna use white lithium. And the reason for that is this is a food grade grease. The odds of this grease coming in contact with the birds is pretty slim, and you're gonna wash them a bunch of times, but so what? Uh, this is not gonna last as long on there, but knowing me, I'm gonna remove this feather plate probably every time I clean it anyway, so I'll just add a little bit more. This is the same grease that I use on the back of the blade for my meat slicer, so uh, that works out. So what I'm gonna do here is just get a little dab of the grease on my finger here. And just put it all the way around that, like so. which is going to lead to wear, hence the grease. Uh, seeing that, I would definitely recommend pulling this thing off every, after every time you use it. Uh, one, to clean it, and, uh, and two, to apply all the grease. So, um, I guess that's a catch-22 if I'm rating this thing. Do I want a, a tighter fit so that it won't vibrate and, uh, and wear as much? Or do I want it easily removable so that I can clean it? I think easily removable so I can clean it's best. So, there you go. Directions don't say to apply more grease to that shaft every time you clean it, but you certainly are going to want to do that. I want the record to show that he said he was going to clean it. I'm excited about that. So, right there. Uh, I stopped reading the directions for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, I think it's mostly, ah, this only goes on one way. Note, note that uh, when I line up that lock, that lock right there uh, does not line up. So, there's probably a reason for that. Dun, dun, dun. I'm, I'm not interested right now in what that reason is. Uh, it probably makes sense at some point. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to spin this until they all line up, which appears to be right there. Uh -huh. Okay. It's weirding out. Having ah, there's one more thing to do in there. Mm -hmm. Huh. Helps to read the direction, doesn't it? So see this bad boy right here? This is going to keep that feather plate from jumping off. Well, that would have been fun if you tried to do it without that. I mean, ejecting chickens off the top of the thing. Chicken launcher, not a <laughs> <laughs> We got a $400 chicken launcher. We can launch a chicken so, 500 uh, yards. This bolt that threads down in the middle of the shaft is reverse threads. Uh, if you're not mechanically inclined enough to know that there is such a thing, like if you're one of those city people that decided that you're gonna raise some chickens and get a chicker plugger, if you try to thread it in there and it doesn't thread in there, go the other direction. In this case, your ID is not tight. And if you're one of them city folks that decided to uh, raise some chickens and get a chicken plucker. I hope our videos do not traumatize you too much. Alright. Place the tub in the feather pan. Magnetic reed switch in the feather pan must align with the magnet in the tub. Hmm. Remember what I'm saying? I'm not sure why. Those only going one way. 
Now you know. There's why. Apparently, there's a magnet in here. There it is, right there. And there's the reed switch right there. How do you like that? So I think the deal behind that, well, I'm certain the deal behind that is, uh, if the tub is not on, obviously, you don't want that feather plate spinning. Somebody could get hurt. So they put a little reed switch in there to tell it whether or not it's safe to operate. Operational instructions. We're going to put these little care bands in here. And these are going to prevent these from vibrating loose. That's what caught the picture finger. Look at chicken plug looks like. What it's really missing is a handle. It's a little short to use this as a handle. Kind of bent over a little. If you go all the way down and use this as a handle and you're really bent over. Whatever. I have a lock washer left over. I know exactly where that was supposed to go. That little reverse thread bolt that I stuck down into the shaft. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I'll keep it because next time we take this thing off to clean it. Next time Sid takes it off to clean it, ah, no. I'll put it on. And you said there's a handle somewhere? There's not a handle, that's the problem. Sure. Alright. You have to lift it back far enough that the wheel's engaged with the ground. And this isn't going to fall? Not unless you drop it. No, I mean like this is attached. It's attached. Okay. So we need like a pulley. Okay, it. let me give you a piece of advice. Stop, oh, put it down. You're going to say something special to me right now. What? No, go stand on the other side of it. You want me to tip it back? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? I think it's going to be I'm a little easier like that. I'm afraid it's going to be funky. Don't be afraid. All right, well, Stay. That's not going to work, yo. not going to work, yo. No. You need that one. You're going to have to unhook it. <laughs> Get this wheel out. I'm gonna twist this way. There you go. It's all about geometry. Except now I can't tilt it back far enough. Hold on. Okay. I gotta lift it further out. Okay. Where are we going? All the way to the pig killing station. Might be easier to go backwards. Well, that's what I was doing. But. Got quite the uh, wheelbase. Yeah, it doesn't even fit on the walkway. This is not gonna be pretty. Okay, hold on. Moonwalk. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. 
fucking way. Babe, with the F-bombs. Sorry. Can't you bleep me out? I don't want to bleep the entire fucking video. <laughs> you have met me, right? You know that I cuss like a sailor on leave, right? I've also seen you around other people when you give a shit. Pretend they're here. I still cuss around them too. My boss. Well, I don't, I'm not around your boss very often for that exact reason. She's struggling with this thing. Struggle is real, yo. I love how you're like. Just... Oh, baby, this is good stuff right here. I'm sorry. You know, I tell you what, I'll give you some good stuff. Give you like good stuff. All right. So once you con your unsuspecting wife into dragging the chicken poker to the other end of the property. You have completed your task for the day. <laughs> because last night you had too much whiskey and no birds got tested in here. So well, there you have it. But do you really want to leave it outside? Aren't you going to cover it and stuff? Yeah, I got this. I'm just saying. That's it. I'm going to go de-shed another dog. All right, so. It did say something in the manual about uh, where you hook the hose up right here. Uh, you could use one of these Ys and uh, that gives you a shut off right here for the internal water that's washing the feathers down off the birds. It also gives you the ability to have a hose come off of here that you're going to use for Here's my thoughts on that. Uh, obviously, we need to do it because we need to be able to shut it off right here as opposed to going over there. But my opinion about this Yardbird chicken plucker so far is really good. Uh, however, I definitely think that they should have uh, charged you 20 bucks more and built a little manifold in right here with a shut on and shut off and a secondary shut on and shut off where you could plug a hose coming out of it uh, I'm concerned about that right there uh, I think over time this is going to be a problem in fact I'm sure it is we'll see how much time that is but here's the whole idea behind that water we'll turn it on and boom water spraying inside there. Yard bird chicken plucker. This here's where we kill our pigs. We actually don't have a pig right now. Alright, <clears throat> another little something. I didn't see in the direction, but uh, I didn't thoroughly read them either. Is that little uh, that little machine screw right there that's blocking the on switch? I'm speculating they put that there so it wouldn't accidentally get turned on in shipping or during while you're putting it together. Uh, maybe just to prevent an injury. Anyway, we'll pull it out and flip it on. And nothing happened. That's bad. Alright. Let's take a look over here at, uh... Uh-huh. Okay, test. 
reset, flip it on. that thing's ready yes I do I'm just gonna keep this here I'm just gonna put it in finger tight so I don't need a screwdriver next time and uh, we're set up I'll get a propane tank out here tomorrow morning and uh, get an ice bath going Get the table set up. See if we can't put some of these chickens in winter camp.